Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and this is Pocket News for Thursday, the 10th of September. Finlay! First up, and Dota 2 has officially ported across to the Source 2 engine. Yes! From today, players will no longer have access to the old, disgusting Source client. Instead, the game will launch directly into the Reborn client. Reborn first entered beta in June, and at the time, Valve promised that this newer, shinier version of the game would become the standard not long after this year's International. With the transition, it becomes the first ever game to run entirely on the Source 2 engine. The first of many to come, no doubt. Next up, and Microsoft has announced plans to shut down the Xbox Live Indie Games program. Announced in 2006, the program was designed to allow developers to publish to the Xbox 360's Live Store or Windows PCs using a development framework framework called XNA. This framework brought us games like Bastion, Terraria, and Hacknet. Alas, as of today, subscriptions to the service are no longer available, and the service will go offline by the end of 2017. Microsoft has launched a replacement service for the new generation called ID at Xbox. And finally, Apple held a live event in California this morning, unveiling their new game-ready Apple TV. The new Apple TV will have access to the iOS marketplace and will allow people to download games which already exist on the store. The new unit comes with a remote which allows for motion control and trackpad input. It will also support third-party Bluetooth controllers, including the Guitar Hero Live instruments. So look out, 2006's The Wii, you have competition. Alright, that's it for the news today, my pocketeers. Thank you to everyone who came along to the live stream yesterday afternoon to help us build a world in Super Mario Maker. Together, we truly made something beautiful. You'll be seeing that level again shortly. But this afternoon on Pocket Prime, I get all spacey in Nova 111. Until then, Nick Boy out.